Okay. <laughs> I think that I have got it. Can everybody hear me? Okay, I see Karen is on watching. Arliss is watching. Can you guys hear me? Hi, Gina. Okay, great, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is what happened. I went to go live on this my business page, which is where you guys are waiting for me. And um, it wouldn't let me type to make a comment. You start a comment and then it'll have a drop down and you can click on the go live. And it w every time I was touching it, it was not acknowledging that I was touching the comment area. So it wouldn't go live and I'm like freaking out. I called my friend Barb in Wyoming and said, Barb, what's going on? So. Nothing we did fixed it, so I decided to turn my phone off and turn it back on, and then it worked. Oh my gosh. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Claudia. Lorraine, welcome. I'm so excited you guys are here, Sarah. So, huh, I'm just going to take a little breath. I'm wearing my crown because I feel fancy when I wear my crown, and it makes me feel pretty, right? So, I'm excited to be here tonight. I have some really cool projects to show you, some great tips on stuff that maybe you wouldn't have thought of. Hi, Renee. Hi, Mary. Julie, welcome from cold North Dakota. Yeah, why don't we kick it off? Um, where are you guys from? So, type in, hi, Kathy. How are you? Um, Alexandra, Darlene. Um, type in where you're coming to me from. Um, we got North Dakota already. Hi from Maryland. Yay. Um, thank you for sharing. Judy, thank you so much. Melanie, yay, from Akron, Ohio. That's fabulous. Lucy, hi Renee. Shelby, you can't hear me? Yes, you need to turn up your volume. So if you can't hear me, it's on your end. Is everybody else hearing me okay? I think everybody else can hear me, so you want to turn up your volume. Arliss, welcome. I'm going to be seeing Shelby and Arliss next weekend in Marshfield, Wisconsin for a home party. I can't hardly wait. We have Chilton, Canton, Georgia, Stafford, Virginia. Hi, Jill. Welcome. Julie from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, Lucy, beautiful Pacific Northwest. Krista from Nina, Kathy Miller. Hi, Kathy. Kathy has been <laughs> entertaining me this afternoon as I was kind of checking things over. Like, I did a lot of work making sure that this would come up on the screen properly, that it would be not this way, but this way. So um, I have a private group, and you have to have one more person in a private group. So I kept going live on there just to make sure I had everything down. And then, look at in the end, it was like a complete disaster trying to get on here so okay and Mary says I'm loud and clear so make sure you turn up your volume you should be able to hear me hi Francie oh my gosh I'm so excited that you're on here all right you guys so this was um, a pretty exciting for me to do this tonight I'm really um, jacked about it I spent the weekend yesterday I worked all day for my day job and tomorrow is my last day at my day job so I'm really excited. I have been blessed enough that I um, don't have to work outside anymore and what that means is I'm going to be pumping up my Stampin' Up! business and Facebook Live is a great way to do that. So this is the first of many Facebook Lives. I hope you enjoy what I have to show you tonight. Thank you for showing me the love. Excellent. We've got somebody from um, Fierce Granny. Ooh, that's a good name. Cassie Brown is watching. Barb Eckhoff. Thank you. So I'm just going to um, hang tight here for a little bit and let some more people come on board before I get started. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many people. I'm flabbergasted. I'm a little like, wow, excited. I just can't tell you how excited I am. So um, let me let me see. Um, you guys are telling me where you're from. Make sure I I love to know that. Thank you for all the love. This is awesome. I feel kind of like a movie star. 
Okay, maybe not like a movie star, but in little old Menasha, Wisconsin, I think I'm feeling pretty special right now. Um, congratulations on full-time SU. I know, I'm really excited. You know, I did Stampin' Up! full-time um, a few years ago, and um, it was kind of right when the economy started taking a turn for the worse and people around here were losing their jobs right and left. Um, we're a big paper mill um, area and paper mills were shutting down and gosh, I was working so many hours a week and I just couldn't um, get the income coming in like it should have been. So I had to go out and get a job. Um, I worked uh, about two and a half years for an oil company and it was very high stress and um, then I found a nicer job. And, and I loved working at the oil company. It was very interesting. Don't get me wrong there. But I found a job that was a lot less stress. And I've been doing that for the last almost three years. And it just finally came down to the point where it's like, you know what? It's time for me to take this journey again. And this time, I'm pretty sure that I know exactly what I need to do to make it work. So I feel super blessed. I'm blessed to have all of you and um, really appreciate everything from leaving comments on my YouTube videos and comments on my blogs and sharing what you're making with me. I really do appreciate that. So, hi Patty, hi Julie. Are you on the west or east side of Wisconsin? We are kind of on the east side of Wisconsin. We are 40 miles south of Green Bay. So, it's pretty east. That's where we're located. Uh, we got Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you. I'm happy you could make it tonight. So what else was I going to talk to you about? Um, yesterday, like I said, I worked all day. I was over in Manitowoc for a big meeting. I worked for a Presbyterian regional office. So I wasn't in a church. I was in an office. And um, we, the office that I worked at, we um, managed 32 Presbyterian churches in our district. So yesterday I was at a meeting all day. And it was the last meeting um, for me. And they, my boss is just the most wonderful person. She stood up and said a little, kind of almost a little poem thing about me and my many hats that I wear at work. And then they gave me an Ikea gift card as a parting gift. And I'm super excited because my chair broke. And I'm thinking that I'm going to buy a new chair with that gift card. So that's going to go to really a good use for me. I'm also excited because... Um, I have an L-shaped desk here, and I am planning on changing that. I'm going to get rid of the L-shape in here. I'm going to put a big table-type desk in the middle of my room so that I can have access to all four sides of it for various things because sometimes I have to set up and take down stuff, and that's not the most efficient way to do this. I would like to have a place just set up completely for video videotaping that I don't ever have to take down. I have a... Um, a uh, photo box. I'd like to just keep that set up so it makes everything easy to do. And I have some IKEA furniture sitting in my living room ready to put together. And somebody told me today that, um, oh, Becky, I had a team meeting this morning. Becky told me that putting together IKEA furniture can be rather challenging to a marriage. So <laughs> I'm glad I got that warning, right? So yeah, we'll see. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Andrea. Andrea, wonderful. Andrea's coming to us from Colorado, too. Tammy's from Appleton. So I think, what time is it? It is, my phone is not telling me what time it is. 6.13, I think it's ready to get started, right? Okay. I am going to turn my camera around so that you can see what I'm doing. So if you get seasick... Oh, I will give you a virtual tour, Melanie, sometime when I have things really cleaned up, which should be after this next week. I'm going to clean this room out and really get things organized and get a whole bunch of stuff out of here that just doesn't need to be here anymore, right? So I'm going to flip my phone around. If you get seasick, you may want to close your eyes for a couple minutes while I do that, and we'll get set up so I can start stamping. Make sure I don't hit any buttons, right? That would be a complete dismal disaster. Here we go. All right, hang tight with me. I think I'm going to have to set you down. Oh, look, you can look at my Hershey nugget. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. 
And you might hear my husband slamming around a little bit. He's going in and outside. I don't know what he's doing. All right, here we go. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I just turned the camera around. I'm going to leave it right here. I'm not going to zoom in because I don't want to mess this up, right? We've gotten this far. This is my chocolate. This is my reward at the end. Okay. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to bring in my grid paper. I did a home party um, last weekend, was it, in Omro. We had a fabulous time. But a lot of people didn't know that this grid paper is available. It's not just for demonstrators. It's in the catalog. You get this huge pack of this grid paper, and I love to use the measurements on it, and I write notes on it all the time. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Now you're in the know. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you is this Painted with Love specialty paper. And of course, this paper is just absolutely gorgeous, right? If you guys have gotten any of this, you know it is just beautiful. But one of the things that I find a little sad is when we have um, designer series paper that is in a particular suite like this is, let me find, this is the Painted with Love suite. This is all about Valentine's Day, right? And hang on a second, I'm just going to shut down a couple of these window things that are happening on my computer because it's very confusing. Okay, here we go. Um, so this is all about Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is this coming Wednesday. And so for stampers, you may be making a few cards today that you can get out in the mail for close friends and relatives or to hand deliver on Wednesday. But for the most part as stampers, we're kind of done with Valentine's Day, right? We're moving on to spring and Easter. So um, I'm really sad because this paper is gorgeous. And guess what? I am just not done using it yet. I am not finished with this paper. So I decided what I was going to concentrate on today was some project using the Painted with Love Designer Series Specialty Paper. And these are going to have nothing to do with Valentine's Day, okay? Because this paper is so beautiful, I don't want you to push it to the back of your supplies and forget about it. So I am going to make a really cool card. I've got a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch Berry Burst card stock. And I've just folded that in half on the score line. It's scored at five and a half inches. And then I used my stitched shape framelits to cut out some circles. Now, if we're lucky, we only need one of these. But because I thought, well, what if I screw it up? I better have one. <laughs> I better have another one ready to roll, right? So I've got um, a spare just in case. And then let me see if I can find, here's my ink pads. I'm using Berry Burst and my Memento Black ink pad. And then I decided to use the Petal Palette stamp set. Now this stamp set is so big it comes in two cases and it really is beautiful. These images are beautiful. If you guys have been looking online for things using the Petal Palette stamp set, you know how gorgeous they are. I love these fonts. You get all these polka dots too, but I'm a font girl and I really love funky fonts. So um, we are going to use the words out of this stamp set. Let's see if I can find it here. What does this say? Life. Okay, life is so much better with you in it. And I'm just going to stamp this with my Memento ink and I'm gonna put it more towards the top of my circle. Oh, I did really good. <laughs> it's half the battle, right? And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to spruce that up just a little bit with this gorgeous watercolor flower. Make sure I have some good ink on there and I'm just gonna put that in right here. Isn't that pretty? It's just pretty. Absolutely love that. Okay, now I've got a piece of gold foil paper and here's my trick. I'm going to layer my beautiful Painted with Love Designer Series paper on top of this gold foil paper. 
But when I do something like this, it's like, wow, that's a lot of gold foil paper. You'll get two sheets. They're 12 by 12 in a pack. And I don't know why I have such a big deal with this. They're $4 for two great big 12 by 12 sheets. But I always have an issue with this. And I found a way to make it worth my while to use a big piece like this. And that is I am going to die cut my layers that I need in gold for this particular card. So let me show you. I thought I had everything die cut and I wouldn't need my big shot, but I was wrong. And I will be wrong many more times, believe me. <laughs> How are we doing here? Can you see what I'm doing? Oops. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. I'm using my magnetic platform and I'm going to just cut these out. Now you wanna be careful when you're doing something like this, first of all, so you don't get too close to the edge because we are gonna see the edge of this gold paper. And then the other thing you wanna be careful about is you don't want your framelits overlapping each other. Um, maybe I should tell you what I'm using here. I'm using the Celebrate You Thinlets. And here's what they make. We've got this celebrate word, the amazing word, and the you word. This is free with a $100 order during celebration. So um, super cool. I love all of the words that are in here. So again, keep your framelits away from each other. You don't want them to overlap because you'll bend them and they will be ruined. Have to be careful with stuff like that. I'm just going to Grab that and bring it right back here. And then, what did I do? Here we go. I have my Big Shot die brush, and I really do love this product, and I use it all the time. I love it so much <laughs> that I have two of them. And I keep it in a little box like this, and I'm going to, whoops, that came right off of there. I am going to use this help me poke out those little holes that are in the leaves here. And that way, I don't have so much work to do with my pokey tool. There we go. Got that. I'm going to pull this out. Whoops, look what I did there. I got a little too rough with it. And it bent my leaf back. We'll fix that when we put it on our card. This is very intricate, so you want to be careful with it. And here comes our Celebrate. Now, when I get done here, I just go like this, put that back in there. I can put everything away and keep it all in one place. That works really good for me. Now I'm going to grab a pokey tool here. I had one in that box, but I'll just leave that one in there. And we're going to make sure that all these little inserts are poked out of these leaves because that's kind of half the charm of this particular die. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. Everything is out here. So let's set these aside. Oh, the other thing I could show you is how about the petals and more thinlet dies. This is what you can get with the petal palette stamp set. And all of these dies, they're gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, this is just beautiful. You will love this bundle. Of course, when you bundle, you get 10% off. So I'm just going to set these aside. And now we're going to start our layering process. I'm going to use our Fast Fuse for the gold foil layer because glue will stick to it, but I find that Fast Fuse is the bomb for um, something that's shiny like this. If you have a little problem with this rolling, just push it ahead a little bit. The one thing I found I was really doing wrong with my Fast Fuse, and we talked about this today at my team meeting, is... I was pushing too hard. With our tape runners, let me grab one here. With our, with our snail runners, you push really hard when you do this, but you don't need to do that with the fast fuse. So now I'm gonna put my layer of Painted with Love Designer Series paper down on here. Okay, isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, it's already delicious. And now I'm gonna get out my glue. Why? Because I love it. Some people hate this glue, I love it. It's what I'm used to using. And you can't even see where I die cut the leaves and the celebrate word out of here, right? Can't even see it. So I've really utilized that gold paper. 
So um, Patty's asking, does the gold foil ever get scratched up with um, the tool? Yeah, I haven't noticed that at all. And you can see clearly that mine is not scratched up. So that's a great question, Patty. Okay, next I'm going to come in. Whoops, that's my spare one. I needed a little something for an embellishment on here. And I decided to use our gold metallic thread. And again, I can't say enough about stamping up stuff that matches. So we have this beautiful gold paper. And now we have all these other things we have the designer paper, we have the gold foil paper, we have this thread which is fabulous and that just makes my job so much easier. I'm going to just cut that off. I wrapped it around my fingers a few times and then I'm just going to put it on my white piece here and I'm going to force it to go like right over here. That's where I want it. It's my card. I can make it go any place I want, right? And I just use a piece of tape. Now, I'm really weird about things, and I don't like these ends sticking out. <laughs> I know, like, who cares, right? But I care. Kelly cares about the ends. So I just cut those off. And now I'm going to kind of wiggle this so it doesn't look so uniform, because I don't really care for that either. I want it to look a little more random. And we're going to put some glue on the back here and I'm going to set this down about right there and now before I shouldn't have put that glue on there yet so I'm going to just do this I'm going to hold it up a little bit I need to put a little bit of adhesive on my leaves my gold beautiful gold leaves and I these are not going to be stuck down at the top only under here so put your leaves on first maybe is a better idea you know here we go. I just want to make sure that my words are straight on my circle. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty so far? Now we're going to do this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to some of the letters. You don't have to get too crazy with this. You're not going to hang your coat on it or anything, right? So it doesn't have to be too nuts. And I'm just going to add my celebrate right down here. Now. As I always tell you guys, if you watch my YouTube videos, if you get glue on your fingers, which I rarely do, but sometimes I do, I just have some of these baby wipes close by so I can kind of clean off my fingers. And then the one thing you want to be careful, don't set them down by any of your cards because I've ruined so many cards doing that, right? It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, now we have one more item here and that is the inside of our card and one of my favorite stamps is the stylized birthday stamp this is a single stamp it only comes wood mounted I don't know how much it is it's like ten dollars or I don't know something like that but it is worth its weight in gold because I love this it's a big greeting it takes up a lot of space and I don't like writing a lot in cards <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person, right? I'm going to stamp that in black. And you know what? I don't like where that is, so I'm going to start that over. Because I this card is really nice, and I want everything to be really nice. We'll center it a little bit better. That looks better. And then I'm going to come in with some Berry Burst polka dots. And I'm going to put those right down here at the bottom. Isn't that cute? And then I thought it'd be fun to come in with some more of these pretty little flowers. And here we go. Flowers, flowers. I'm kind of twisting them and turning them a little bit. Close this up because I've been known to drop a card or two in my ink pad. Who's done that? I think we all have. It never happens until you're done either, right? Never happens until you're finished with your card. <laughs> Not when you first start do you drop it in the ink. There we go. What do you guys think? Is that a beautiful card? I would definitely give this to one of my good friends or one of my family members that I really like. Do you have family members that you really like? <laughs> Some of us don't. Oh, you know what? I was going to kind of glue that down, but I think right now, because I got a little aggressive with my... I'm just going to cut it off. 
won't even know. Perfect. So we've got Painted with Love Valentine Sweet Paper used for this gorgeous, gorgeous birthday card. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? Let's get going here. All right, I'm going to clean up this mess a little bit because I decided that I wanted a little box to match. And what I came up with is I used one of these pizza boxes. You get um, eight of these, yeah, eight of these in a pack. And I think they're like, I don't know, $8. I had that written down someplace, but now I can't find it. Anyways, they're really inexpensive. And I'm gonna take one of these pizza boxes. I've got it right here. And all you do is fold on the score lines with these pizza boxes. So they're super, super easy. I'm gonna make sure I give you some dimensions here too. And I've got a whole bunch of fun stuff. So here's what I decided. I decided that I am going to put whoops, some of this designer series paper on the outside. Oh, do you see that? There's some glue. That would not be pretty. On the outside or the top of my box, which is right here. So it's, it's a lot easier to do this when your box is flat than it is after you put your box together. So I guess that's a good tip. And then I have little strips. Oh, by the way, this piece is three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then the sides are all one by three and three eighths. And I'm just going to add those all around the edge. These pizza boxes huh, make it so easy to decorate things too. Oh, that one looks like it's almost too big, doesn't it? Oh, no, I think it'll be okay. And again, I really like the glue because if you get this crooked, you can kind of smoosh it around until you get it where you need it to go. And one more. There we go. Now, I was thinking, I'm going to hand deliver this card that I made to one of my good friends when I see her on her birthday. So, let's see, how do I do this? I'm going to do this, and this, this. Okay, hang with me. We can do this. There we go. Okay. All of these go on the inside like this. Okay, now I got it. The one thing that I didn't do is this part right here. You just push those tabs up and push that down in there. That'll hold your box together now. And this is why they call it a pizza box, right? Oh, you know what? Did I decorate the bottom? I think I did. Darn it! Okay, totally decorated the bottom. So we're going to do the top too. We're going to have the bottom and the top decorated. We'll be okay. We'll just cover all of our pizza box basics, right? There we go. Okay, then I decided that I wanted to do some Hershey's Nuggets in here. And so I went out and bought the gold ones. I had silver, as you saw, right? But that was not good enough because this is gold. So you're going to take one by three strips. And I just like to... Make sure these are nice and tight. Put these around here. And then the easiest and best way to keep these together is just put a little piece of scotch tape right on the bottom, just like that. And so then I thought if I put three of these in a box, what else was I gonna put in here? Well, how about a party in a box? So I've got a little birthday candle, a couple of balloons, and that would be cute. But then I decided that this is going to slosh around in here and it's not going to be really neat when she opens it. So that's when I came up with this idea. I made a little insert for the box. And the insert is 4 and 3 eighths long by 3 and 3 eighths wide. Then I scored it at 1 and a half inches, 2 inches, and 2 and a half inches. So you just get a half an inch up and down on that mountain fold there. We talked about mountain and valleys today at my team meeting too. And you're simply going to set this inside your box. I can see that I'm going to need to add a little bit of glue here to keep it in. Just like this. 
set this right in your box. The smaller side over here is to keep my Hershey Nuggets in their place, just like that. And then here comes our little balloons and candle. We have a party in a box. Isn't that cute? What do you guys think? All right, now, here's the deal. While this is all fine and dandy, it's not nearly done, right? Because if you're gonna make something like this, you need to do something a little better than that. So, that's where I came up with, how about a monogrammed box? So I've got our layering circles and scallops with our silver foil paper. And then I've got another one of the um, stitch shaped framelits to go on top of that. And I'm just going to glue those two together right now. So I've just got a tiny, tiny little scallop coming out of there. Okay, so here we go, looking good so far, right? And then this piece that comes in the petals and more framelits, isn't that delicious? I decided that that would look good right in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna put it right in the middle and I'm gonna use regular tape to do that. So here we go. Easy, right? Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? I'm already so excited. Next, hang tight. I got some more stuff coming in here. Who's got the large letter framelits? These are like my best friend. I have had so much fun making cards with these and I love to do like banners. This is, these are great for scrapbooking. And this is just gonna be a monogrammed letter. So I've got an R here for my friend and I'm just going to add that to my circles here. And then this is one of the cute little framelits that come with this set of dies. So I cut this out with the Berry Burst cardstock and I'm just going to add this to my monogrammed layer, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and mount this on my box. What do you guys think? This is pretty easy, right? It's a really easy thing. If you're gonna hand deliver a birthday card and you're a stamper, shame on you if you don't do something like this. <laughs> did I just shame you? I did shame you. You know why? Because you have this stuff and it is so simple to make this kind of stuff. Now, I also have, this is just an Amazon gift card and it doesn't have any money left on it. I keep these around so I can show you what I do with gift cards, right? but um, my friend lives in the area, so I will be buying her a gift card to our local Mexican restaurant where we may or may not be known by the bartenders, where we may or may not get a margarita occasionally, just saying. So I'll put a nice um, gift card in there for her. And I would use mini glue dots to stick that right to the, right to the cover. And here we go. We have a party in a box for my friend's birthday. It's a lot better than just sticking a gift card in a card, right? It's just pretty. And before we're finished with that, everybody loves a decorated envelope. Did you guys see where I did? Here's my ink. I was going to say, did you see what I did with my ink? So I am just going to take a few of these little flowers and put them right down here in the corner because that just touches off and finishes off the whole project. So, what do you think? Is that not stinking adorable, right? Love it. So here's another idea with the um, designer series paper that everybody is gonna be putting away because they think it's only for Valentine's Day. Not only for Valentine's Day. All right, who's ready to see the next project? Somebody asked, is the pizza box food safe? It is food safe. If you look at this pizza box, it has like a shine on it. It's got a coating on it and these are food safe. So you could put like a cookie in here or any type of candy that would fit, of course. Um, look at that. 
my thing fell apart. Well, that's not good. Let me fix that. We don't want that happening. I think these chocolates will last until I need them, right? Yes. Okay, there we go. But yes, it is food safe. That's a really, really great question. Let me see if I can get it back together here without destroying it. There we go. Maybe. Okay. Party in a box from a good friend. She's going to love this. All right, next. What do I have in store? Okay. Here's my next project. We are going to be using some Stampin' Blends. These are our alcohol markers, and they are fabulous. I absolutely love them. And also in with this designer series paper is kind of an odd color combination, which is kind of this orange or peachy color. It matches, kind of matches peekaboo peach a little bit, but mostly our Calypso coral. And um, it's kind of a different color to have in with a Valentine pack, right? So I decided that I needed to use that. And I decided I was gonna make a really cool card. So here's what I've got. Let me see if I can find, where am I? Here are my dimensions. All right. I've got a couple really cool things to show you with this. I'm gonna make a double Dutch card, and my friend Kathy Miller is the one who showed me the first double Dutch card. I think she made one for a swap, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. I've got a piece of four and an eighth wide by nine inches long, and I scored it at five and a half inches. So we're just going to fold that over. Okay. Thank you, Linda. It is a nice group of goodies to give, right? And like I said, if you're gonna make a birthday card for somebody and you're delivering a hand-delivered card, you need to be making something to put a little treat in, some chocolate or whatever their favorite candy is, because like, why not? Show off your talent. Okay, then I've got this designer series paper and I've got this big piece is cut three and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And we are going to adhere that right to the front of our card. Oops, hang on, I got a little, little stopped up glue there. I even cleaned my stamp room for you guys today, and I was just mentioning that because there's room in my garbage when I throw stuff away now. Oh my gosh, it was so overflowing. And I vacuumed. And then my husband yelled at me because I just brought the vacuum in here and vacuumed in my room, and I didn't vacuum any place else in the house. <laughs> so he didn't, like, yell at me, but he's like, he vacuumed later, and he said, did you notice that I vacuumed the rest of the house, not just in the kitchen where he was working on our stove all day? And I said, yes, I did, and I appreciate it. <laughs> he didn't think it was very funny. <laughs> but anyways, so we go back and forth like that a lot. He's, he can be pretty funny. I'll have to tell you what he said about. Um, okay, so let me get back to my card here because I'm yickety yakking. So I've got this layer that I just glued on here with a glue booger. That's ugly. Um, this piece is two by eight and three eighths. And I scored it in two and an eighth from each end. Now, no, let me back up. I scored it in two and an eighth from one end. Then I kind of laid it behind my card here and I folded it over like this. You might need to trim a tiny bit off this one to make these meet in the middle because they overlap just a tiny bit. And it's such a little bit that it's there's just not a good way to tell you a different size to cut this. So two inches by eight and three eighths, score it at two and an eighth on one side, and then just fold it over the other side when you wrap it around the back of your card. And this is what makes your double Dutch fold. These two little pieces are one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and they are cut from the same piece. So I kind of like to pick them up and make a match here. Oh, did you see what I did? Oh, that'll be okay, because we do have an inside going in our card. There we go, they match like this. I am going to not let that close on that glue that's in there now because you saw what I did. It means I have to stamp up the inside of our card and get that done, get that open. And I'm just gonna put these right on here so they're just centered. They have the same dimensions around the outside. 
I have glue on my finger again. Hang on. And I got a little bit on my gold. And because that's gold, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe. Yay me. Okay, we're going to go to this piece right here. And also this. We'll get our stamping done right away. I am using the Heartfelt Blooms stamp set. I have to tell you guys, I've said this before in my videos. I think I've used this for videos. But this is a new... Um, this is a new way of making rubber stamps for Stampin' Up. They're actually getting this technique patented right away. I can't remember what it's called, but they call it disinctive, distinctive. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what they did was they brought in a bouquet of flowers into their studio and they took a photograph of it and then took and made a stamp out of it. And this is pretty and everything, and I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, when I saw it in our celebration brochure, I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty. It wasn't until I used it that it actually made me gasp because it once you stamp it, it is so beautiful. It's incredible. I'm inking this up with Calypso Coral ink. And I'm going to just stamp this. I used our oval stitched shapes. And I'm just going to stamp this right on there. You could stamp it first and then die cut it. I chose to go opposite, and isn't that just, oh my gosh, it's just delicious. It's so vivid and beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little, it must be time for a beverage break. Hang on. Oh yes, that was good. No, I'm not drinking alcohol. I would be a total disaster. I have nothing more than Pepsi in my cup. <laughs> I might drink alcohol when I'm done with this tonight. No, I think it's going pretty good. How do you guys think it's going? I'm talking fast, but that's how I always talk. All right, we are going to get this inside put in here before I destroy my card altogether. And I'm gonna do sending heartfelt thoughts because, you know, it's winter and there sure seems to be a lot of people dying lately. And as sad as that sounds, it is true. It is what it is. And so I need a lot of sympathy cards. I'm going to glue this white. This is three and three quarters by five to a Calypso coral layer. That is four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to put this on the inside of the card where I dropped that piece that has glue on it. Let's put that right in here. Make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers because nothing can ruin a card faster than that, right? Here we go. Okay, so far, so far, are you with me? Got a couple more things to do here. We are going to take, I took some gold foil and scallop oval cut it. I'm going to glue that to one of our <clears throat> white doilies. And I just put that right in the middle. Isn't that pretty? Who, I, You know, I would have never thought to put a round doily with an oval shape, but it does look nice. And then we're going to glue on our delicious Heartfelt Blooms flower. Isn't that pretty? Then we're going to grab some more dimensionals. And we're only going to put them on the top half of our layer. Oops. This is our double Dutch card. And I'm going to put that right in the center of my card. And this is just a really nice fun fold. Easy to make because it's just that strip around the back, right? Let's get that ink pad out of the way. And one last thing. I felt like, well, this is pretty. But I needed something else. So here's what I came up with. Oh, you know what? We've got our envelope right here. As long as I've still got this stamp here, I'm going to stamp my envelope to match. And we're going to just do this. Oh my gosh. Delicious! Okay. Now, I've got this gold-edged ribbon. This is beautiful. This is in the big catalog, and we have silver-edged and gold-edged ribbon. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice seems to be catching. And then I tried my dark Calypso Coral marker. 
Stampin' Blend, and my light one. So these come, you can get a light one, a dark one, or you can buy them together as a combo pack. They're um, $9 if you buy them in a pack. They're, I don't know, $4.50 each if you don't. So I don't think there's any discount on these. But these alcohol markers are fabulous because you can take the large end here and you can dye your ribbon any color you want it to be. And of course, I wanted this to, this gold edged ribbon to match because my paper has gold in it and I use gold foil paper. And because this is an alcohol marker, this will bleed through to the other side of the ribbon. I don't have to color both sides of this. I just have to color one. And it evens itself out. Like it looked a little blotchy where I was doing it, but it evens itself out and look at it. Gorgeous, and it dries super fast. So now you can have gold or silver edged ribbon in any color you want. And I needed orange, and I didn't have any Clipso orange ribbon. And that was the last thing that I wanted to put on my double dutch card here. And I'm just going to tie this at the top and put it in a knot. Futs with it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this just looks... What do you guys think? Do you like it? I futzed with this card for a long time to get it to um, come out so that I really liked it. Like, I made it and it's like, oh, that's pretty, but I don't know. Something's just missing. And then I sent a picture to my friend and she's like, yeah, something's missing. And couldn't figure it out and so then I did it in, a, in an oval and ah, oh, we went back and forth and back and forth but here we go here is a double dutch card you guys can do this right super easy and again we're using painted with love designer series paper that is in the valentine suite for a sympathy card another great card using beautiful paper all right, are you ready to move on? I'm really like rocking this, aren't I? This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. Oh, before we move on, how about I show you this one? Do you remember this one? This is made with, what is this set called? Does anybody know what this set is called? Is this the um, Hostess set that's in the back of the catalog maybe? Let me look. I think it is, but I'm not sure. It might use some other stuff too. Oh, yeah, it's um, Tranquil Tulips. So this is a hostess only set. You can only get this if you have a party and you have Stampin' Rewards, or you put in a $150 order, you can get $15 in free product of your choice, and this is only 10 bucks. So this is a beautiful little stamp set. The thanks a bunch, there's no words in there. That came from a different set. You can just use a little greeting there, but this is another double dutch fold card. Whoops. Come on. There we go. And isn't this pretty? This uses pick a pattern as the black and white paper that's on the background here with berry burst and daffodil delight and old olive. So we've got two double dutch cards here. Two of them are, well, they're both very different, right? And stamp your envelopes. Stamp your envelopes. Do you guys watch the middle with Brick where he, he'll say something like stamp your envelopes. Stamp your and then he whispers it. I get a kick out of that. I love that show. It's so dysfunctional. All right, what's next? We are having fun now. I wanted to show you, before I go any further, I got some swap cards using the Painted with Love Designer Series paper too. And I have almost 100 people watching me. Melanie, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. So here's a Valentine. These are swap cards. I did not make these, okay? So here's some more of the paper. I love the little hearts with the gold ones every once in a while in there. This also has that um, mini tinsel twine, and it comes with gold and pink, so you get both rolls in a pack. And here is some of the um, silver-edged ribbon. Now, this is ribbon you can buy already colored. And it is Berry Burst. And what suite is this in? This is in a different suite. Um, I think it's in the Cakes Hooray suite, but it's in the Occasions Mini Catalog too. And it's gorgeous, obviously. It's gorgeous. 
Here's the pink mini tinsel twine. And this uses the um, Painted With Love or Sure Do Love You stamp set that matches this whole Valentine suite. Here's another one, beautiful. And another one, and um, these dies, well this one and this one is from the set, but we also have our Sweet and Sassy Heart dies. That's what they use there. And then somebody else had a great idea to make a birthday card out of this paper too. So these are just really, really nice swap cards. Now, I have a couple more cards. I'm only gonna make one for you. And then I'll show you the other one. Let's see. Rose is going to be trying the double dutch. Hi, Rose. I hope you're feeling better. Rose had the flu earlier in the week. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad for her. My daughter, Haley, has the flu, and she got sick last week, and oh my gosh, she is not feeling well at all. Poor kid. And she's doing her student teaching right now, so it's really important that she not miss any of that. Um... This is Melon Mambo, and it's four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half. And I'm just gonna burnish that edge. We're gonna be using the Beautiful Day stamp set. And this is also in the Occasions mini catalog. And then something just a little different that I wanted to do. And I always forget about this. My upline is Ann Hubner, and she is really good at doing this. She um, stamps on designer series paper. And I always forget to do that. I always forget to stamp on designer series paper. So Anne, if you're watching, this one is for you. You taught me well. All right, I'm gonna ink this up with our black. This is just a different black ink pad and it's our archival ink pad. And I'm going to stamp right on this gorgeous paper. Then as long as I've got the ink out, we are going to get our words inked up here and we're gonna take one of these white layers this is from the for the front, one is for the inside. Mary, you're so sweet. Thank you, Mary O'Connell. Oh, that's pretty straight. Did I do okay there? Let's line this up, does it? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Woo, yay! Okay, then we've got happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you are. I am going to, am I gonna glue this in here yet? Yep, I'm gluing it. We're gonna go for it. And I'm gonna glue, I love this striped paper. This is one of my favorites in the pack. I'm gonna glue this right on here. And as usual, I've got it a little over the edge. And I tend to do that on purpose. So I can just come in here and trim this off easily because if it comes up short, it makes crazy. Okay, and then we are going to come in with some, oh, I know, I need to do one more thing here. And we're going to do this because I'm not too keen on cutting out the butterflies antennas. That would be crazy, right? Not cool at all. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm just gonna put, ah, uh, did you see what I did? You think I can fix it? Oh, close enough, doggone it. I didn't get it stamped all the way and now I'm getting edges. Let's stop that nonsense. We'll put some more right up there. Okay, it's gonna have to work. All right, I'm gonna put this away for a minute and we're gonna close this up. Now, I'm gonna cut out this butterfly, and because these are so big and chunky, it really is pretty simple to cut out. I'm going for the butt first. <laughs> oh, that sounded funny. Going for the butterfly butt first, and if you just come into it in kind of a little V there, it's easy to cut out. So that's why I go right for the, right for the hard part, right? So today I got a message from my stepdaughter, Anna. Her youngest is, going to be seven here pretty soon. She went out sturgeon spearing with her dad and her grandpa today. And sturgeon spearing is a Wisconsin thing. 
There's only one other place in the world where they allow sturgeon spearing. I can't remember what my husband told me. But anyways, I didn't know that. But sturgeon are these great big prehistoric prehistoric fish and they're like they're bottom suckers. And um so they're out sturgeon spearing. So they're in this great big ice shack and then they have this rectangle hole cut into the ice and it's huge like you could almost fit like a car in it. It's they're big holes. And then you stand there and watch for the sturgeon to come by and then you spear him with a spear. So that sounds all like really crazy, but this is Wisconsin. Well, today, notice how I'm cutting off the antennas. Today, they, Molly was out um, in the ice shack with her dad and her grandpa and she dropped the decoy into the hole. Now this isn't a little hole, mind you, a car could fit in this hole. So she, it so freaked her out that she almost jumped in after it and Grandpa Dick grabbed her and kept her from jumping in the lake. And so then she was really upset and Anna said as her dad was consoling her, you know, he, she was on his lap and he was probably patting her head and going, it's okay, Molly, don't worry about it. He found a big wad of bubble gum in her hair. <laughs> I just about died laughing. So Molly's having a rough day out in the ice shack, sturgeon spearing. She almost went for a swim and she probably had to have a big hunk of hair cut out today. So poor little girl. Oh my gosh, that was a funny. When I got that message from Anna, I was just busting and got laughing. Okay, so I cut off the antennas because I do not want to cut those babies out. Who wants to cut that out? That's crazy. But look at that. Stamp it, stamp it and cut it out. You can put it right over top. And isn't this butterfly gorgeous? What do you guys think of this? Really cool. Hello, Sylvia from Ohio. I'm so glad that you could join us tonight. All right, I'm going to put a bunch of dimensionals on here. A bunch, meaning like four. That's a lot, right? And we're going to get this card put together. Comes our butterfly. Oh, I just think this is so pretty. Like I said, I always forget to stamp right on your designer series paper, and why not? It's beautiful. All right, here goes our front. Oops, look at that. Let's see if I can get some glue squeezed out. There we go. This is going to be a really cheerful, pretty birthday card. Oops, I've got that pretty off center. That will make me crazy. There we go. And then last but not least, I'm going to take this one and add a little half inch piece. These, This is a great way to use up your little bits and pieces of your designer series paper so that you're utilizing every last bit of that pack, right? It's like, what do you do with all those pieces? Well, you do stuff like this. You make sure you're putting them on the inside of your card run just that this is a one inch strip going across the front of our card. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, here comes this. Now this is a card I'm gonna give to somebody that I wanna write a lot because I really didn't put anything else on the inside. So I'll be writing a lot on here. All right, do you wanna see the other card that I made with the flower from the stamp set? I love these big, bold images. That is way cool, right? Oh, you know what I would probably do? Where's my, I don't think I got an envelope out for this one, but I would probably um, stamp up these little polka dots all over it. That's what I would probably do. All right, here's the other one. What do you think? Bigger strip over here. Let me tell you how big this one is. This one is one and a half by four. And I used our decorative, let me get that out. This is our decorative, I don't know what it's called, ribbon border punch or something like that. It's a border punch. And I'm gonna grab some rich raspberry. And um, this is four inches wide. Do you see, do you even see what I'm doing here? This little scallopy deal. Like, where's that coming from, Kelly, right? So here we go. We're gonna punch 
this and these punches have a line in here so you push them in up to that line and you start and then you're going to move it down the end here and you're gonna match it up with the pattern that's right here and you're gonna punch again and that's gonna keep you on the straight and narrow for getting these all lined up and having it go like that <laughs> okay so we're gonna just back up a little bit there we go okay Oh, that turned out quite nice, right? All right, so then what I did here, let me find a piece of white. Here's a piece of white. What I did is instead of using this edge right here, don't look at that part down there because I kind of screwed that up, but instead of using this edge for on my card, I use this tiny little scalloped edge and that just adds that little bit of pop in there, right? little bit of pop right there that gave me that nice edge and isn't this flower beautiful and that's just the designer series paper all right so how is everybody doing is your head swimming yet are you still with me i hope you're still with me okay here we go beautiful nothing to do with valentine's day here's another one the orange colored paper again no valentine's don't forget to stamp up those envelopes and make them delicious also. Here is our party in a box and our gorgeous birthday card. Again, no Valentine's here with our Painted with Love designer series paper. And don't forget about the um, space saving with the gold foil paper here so that you can get the most out of it, right? All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, once this video is over, I'm going to post it to my Facebook page right where you are now and um, share it. When you share it, you're going to get entered in a drawing to win some fabulous free product. Um, for commenting, I'm going to go through all your comments and answer any questions if you had any, but you'll also get entered for commenting on this video. And last but not least, if you place orders, you're also going to get entered in drawings. And here's what we have. February, my host code is right here. You can always find that in the right-hand column of my blog. You'll see it says February host code. When you use this code using your order, or when you use this code when you put in your order, you are going to um, get entered to win prizes. And I have some great stuff that I've been stocking up on so that I could share that with you. So make sure you use the host code when you're placing any orders and I really appreciate your orders as always. Let's see, what else do we have going on here? Good job, thanks Lori Hyde, I'm glad you could make it tonight. What time is it? We're just a little, I didn't even last an hour. Look at that, I made one, two, well I didn't make this card, so I made one, two, three cards and a gift box in less than an hour. Wow, I rocked this, didn't I? <laughs> Yes, I did. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. I think next week, well, and I have some questions for you. Like, um, how do you like the Sunday night 6 p.m. time slot? Like, I really wasn't sure where to come in with my Facebook Lives. I wasn't sure if this was a good time slot or not, but geez, we had almost 100 people watching tonight, so I'd say I guess it worked pretty good, didn't it? Um... So maybe I'll keep it at Sunday night, 6 p.m. At least for next week, I'm going to. We'll just kind of feel it out and see how it goes. And I think next week, I am going to use, let me get it out here. Where is my, who wants to see this in action? I have gotten so many comments on people saying, oh, that waterfront, that waterfront, that waterfront set. So I think I'll be doing something with this. I think I should be able to come up with some great stuff. I love making man cards. Like, it's a thing for me. And um, I love the challenge of making cards for men. So I think maybe I'll be using the waterfront card set. Or, I mean, stamp set. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't think I have anything else to share with you tonight. Um, tomorrow's my last day of work. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know. Oh, we're going out for um, some Mexican nachos and um, maybe a margarita tomorrow night. My boss is taking me and my coworkers out to um, 
celebrate my last day, I guess. So that'll be kind of fun. And then after that, I need to get this room cleaned up and I need to get myself organized because I'll tell you what, when you just keep piling stuff on top of piles and piles and piles, you need to get your life back together. And that's kind of what I feel like. I need to get my life back together. So I hope you guys will join me next Sunday at 6 p.m. for the waterfront set. I don't know what else I'm going to make. Um, I may use more than this. I may not use more than this. I am a girl who flies by the seat of her pants most of the time. So we'll see what we'll see what I end up with. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, use the host code when you're placing orders. And you will be entered in a drawing. I'm going to have three drawings. And I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to go through the comments and put everybody's name in for the drawings. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. Saturday, um, February 17th is going to be the last day to order on this to be entered in a drawing for gifts. So I think probably what I'll do is I will draw for people who shared my video after I get it posted. You share that on your Facebook page. I'll add everybody to a drawing for that and I'll go through all the comments and everybody who commented will be in another drawing and then we'll have to wait until next Saturday the 17th to actually draw for the order. So I'll probably tell you about that on Sunday and let you know who won that, okay? Thanks you guys so much for joining me. I'm super excited that you could, uh, could be here with me to stamp. I hope I have something really good to show you next week too. I'm sure I will, right? Okay. Bye-bye. Have a great week.